Hello there, this is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Tuesday, December the 14th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Ooh, Nine of Swords jumped out. How are you doing today, Scorpio? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Scorpio. Spirit. Four Swords, taking some time for yourself to rest, relax, recuperate. First card out. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is spinning in an upward direction for you. This is a positive omen. Success. What is crossing this? Oh, come on. Cards are sticking together. Seven of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Seven of Wands talks about overcoming obstacles. There have been a lot of obstacles coming your way, but you have the strength to overcome each and every one of them. Consciously known. The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Love. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. See the heart. And she's got a beautiful red and silver brooch. The Queen of Cups is loving, caring, compassionate, a nurturer, a good partner, a good parent. Unconscious. King of Cups. We got soulmate energy here. King of Cups, King of Love. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. He's drinking out of his own cup. There's the heart and there's this pull tie that, ha that is a heart. King of Cups. Loving, caring, compassionate, a nurturer, a good partner, a good parent. Recent past. Ace of Pentacles, new money. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could talk about a new job, a promotion, a raise, money from a side project, inheritance perhaps, new money. Near future. Four of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is sad, apathetic, indifferent. Um, three Cups have been spilled, but Source Spirit Universe is always here trying to give you a, self, a cup of self-love because you cannot love someone else until you love yourself. Someone else can't love you until you love yourself. Where do you find yourself? Four of Wands, 11-11 card. This is my party card. This talks about commitment. Uh, sometimes you'll you'll see a, like a tent. Um, could be a rehearsal for a wedding, rehearsal for a hand fasting. Increase in level of commitment in a relationship. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. External influences. Ooh, the lover is more soulmate energy. I like this lover's card in this deck because there's only two people in this card. Looks like they have a symbol of commitment in the middle of them. And I love the toothbrush or key with wings. The lovers, soulmate energy, divine counterparts. We did have the king and queen of love here. Hopes and or fears. Six of cups. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Six of Cups talks about friendship, puppy love, nostalgia. Uh, just make sure you're not looking at the past through rose-colored glasses. And overall outcome. Santa Morta, the death card, Scorpio energy. This talks about the end of a painful cycle. As you can see, she's pregnant, which talks about rebirth. This was like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon. End of a painful cycle, beginning of a new one. Four of Swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is talking about taking some time to yourself, to rest, 
relax, recuperate, rejuvenate. Four of Swords. Knight of Swords. Someone wants to talk to you. <clears throat> swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. If you do not bring the, the Knight of Swords on its clear communication, he will use that sword and he will cut you out of his life. The Knight of Swords, however, is a less mature energy than a king or a queen, and he can be blunt, brash, abrasive, and rushing in and out of your life. Not a consistent energy. Swords are energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I think I said that already. Knight of Wands, we have player energy here. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy and exciting, but he might spread his wand all over town, if you know what I mean. Ooh, the star. Look at this, Scorpio. Aquarius energy, the star. This is the angel card. This is the wish card. I like it. We have the king and queen of love. We have lovers. Oh, Seven of Swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven of Swords. This is my toxic person card. This person is a liar, cheater, thief. Uh, this person probably it ha uh, has addictions, alcohol, drugs, sex, maybe all of the above. This could be um, this player, but on the bottom of the deck, I feel like you must have cut this person out. The Wheel of Fortune, Success, Positive Omen, we had the King and Queen of Love. Oh, we had Overcoming Obstacles, New Money, Commitment, The Lovers, Nostalgia, End of a painful cycle, beginning of a new cycle, taking some time to rest, relax, recuperate. You are the star. This is the wish card. Looks like someone broke your heart. Um, could be this Knight of Swords or this player. And there was a toxic, toxic person in your life. I feel like that's why this is the end of a painful cycle. And the beginning of a new cycle with the king and queen of love and uh, the lovers. Soulmate energy here for you, Scorpio. Oracle cards. Fork in the road. The chariot. Choosing a path uh, and moving forward. No place like home. Four of Swords energy. Taking some time to yourself to rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate. Four of Swords. Bottom of the deck. Come to the edge. <clears throat> Somebody wants to take a leap of faith with you. you did have soulmate energy times two. Love cards. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. King and queen of love. The lovers. Ooh. Cards are flipping all over the place. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Or, um, Major, the Death card, Scorpio Energy, Death and Rebirth. Yep, this was a painful cycle, but you are moving on. Bottom of the deck, the Emperor, looks like you cut this person out. This is Divine Masculine, he's independent, he sits in his throne. He sits in his power. 
He can be stubborn with a my wear that highway type of attitude. You cut uh, this person out of your life. And good for you, cast me. We had the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel spinning in an upward direction, overcoming obstacles. The King and Queen of Love. Taking some time to rest, relax, recuperate. Commitment. New money. Nostalgia. The Lovers. The Star. And the Death and Rebirth card. No place like home. Fork in the road. Come to the edge. Give your relationship a chance. Make the effort. Express your love. The death card again. And the emperor. All right, Scorpio. Have a great... Oh, Scorpio is your card. Death is your card, Scorpio. Have a great day. I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. Bye for now.